Okay guys, got some uh, customer videos going to try to roll out today. I uh, meant to get these done last week, but a uh, super crazy week here. So uh, trying to get some of these done today. This is a uh, two pill 2879C. Should have a, a second video coming up on the uh, brother or uh, sister amp to this one. Uh, does have delay and biasing. Uh, you flip it down to sideband for that. We'll demonstrate that working. Uh, we're not going to test output on sideband. Um, Output on sideband is going to be the same. Uh, if you're hitting it with the same power on AM, it's going to do the same on sideband. It's, it'll draw a little bit more current um, on sideband. That'll be the only difference. So 50 watts PEP on AM is the same as 50 watts PEP on a sideband. So um, if this thing does 400 watts PEP on AM, it's going to do 400 watts PEP on sideband. Uh, of course, you hit you can hit these harder. Uh, they'll take up to 100 watts PEP if you really want to get the power out of them. Uh, just testing it with my Connex today, it does uh, 50 watts PEP, around 20 watts average. Uh, we're testing it at 15 volts since it is the uh, 2879C. And uh, we'll uh, have our clamp meter hooked up here. First things first, uh, we're just going to give it a good audio. We do have it on AM mode. Let me turn my peak kit off on my meter. All right, here we go. Hello, audio. Hello, 28 amps. Again, that's hitting it with an export radio. You can drive it with less. It'll draw a little bit less. Um, put it on sideband just to show you the delay working. You can tell it's got the slight delay because you get just a just a split uh, split second of static on the radio. Put it on AM. Nothing. So uh, output wise, let's see what it does. Uh, we've got our uh, old faithful thousand watt slug in here. Uh, we're looking at the bottom scale. So uh, twenty will be two hundred. Audio. Audio, audio, audio. So what, 175, 180, give or take. And then uh, PEP. Check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check. Just a shade over 400. Audio, check, 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 audio, check, 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 audio, check, 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 audio. Hello, radio, audio, one, two, three, audio, checker, checker, one, two, one, two. So doing good. It's right there in the uh, threshold of what I consider acceptable. Now, if we hooked this thing up and it only did 300 watts, uh, obviously I'd be having to send it back and, and see what was up with it. Um, but generally on these two pill C's, uh, PEP wise between 380 and 425 uh, with just this radio hitting it, is what I consider acceptable. And then uh, anything less than that, we kind of got to give it a second look. So this one's doing just a shade over 400. Um, and it's uh, doing, what, 175, 180 average, uh, give or take. We may hook the second one up and it may do more. Uh, it all depends. Uh, different gains on transistors. Uh, sometimes they take a little more drive to get up and go. Sometimes they take a little less. Um, but at the end result, they all end up, you know, pretty much capping out at the same amount of power. Uh, some of them just take a little bit more to get there. So 2879 C's. Uh, I do have some amps that have came in, guys, but I got to get these customer amps uh, wrapped up first. And then I will uh, I'll showcase whatever I've got available. Uh, should be a second video coming up on one of these um, special ordered amp. Two pill 2879C Rooster in Tennessee. Questions, comments, shoot me a text. 423-299-3535. Catch you guys out there. See you bye.